In this video, we want to highlight names in CapCut. Let's get started. First, you need to take some screenshots of text about the person or thing with their names in it. Then, import your image and timeline. Then scale up image to put your name at the center of your shot. Then go to text part and drop the default text layer in your timeline. Delete all the default text. Now press space key on your keyboard few time. Then scroll to down, turn on the background. Then select the second background, then choose your color. You can use any color, blue, red, and yellow. I choose yellow. Then decrease opacity to 50 to see how big should be your text. Now make rounded rectangle, height and width to zero because we don't need big box. Now it's time to set position your image at the center of your shot. Delete some space to make text box smaller. Then select text layer and move it to be at center of your shot. Make the name bigger so it fits in the box. Then go five frame further, one, two, three, four, five. Then cut the layer. If you want to use shortcut to edit faster, watch this video in my channel. Okay, let's back to our editing. Import another image in your timeline and set the position at the center of the shot. Then the go five frame further, one, two, three, four, five, and cut it. And do the same process for other image too. Then reset the opacity to 100. Then select the text layer and make compound clip. Then change blend mode to multiply to see your name under the yellow box. Then go to mask part and select the horizontal mask and rotate it 90 degree. Move the mask to left. Then use keyframe for position. Go at the end of the timeline and moving mask to right. Now you make highlight your name. I mean Ronaldo name. Now it's time to use some effect to get more focus on the name. Go to effect part and use vignette to get this shadow around the corner. And use hazy effect to get more blur around the name. Then use the chromatic aberration to make edge a little red and green. It's optional. And depend off your project you can use different effect. Now select all image and make them compound clip. Then go to basic part and turn on motion blur and wait for process. And at the end, you get something like this. Wait, we are not done yet guys. Now it's time to use some sound effect. I have a ticking sound like clock sound. And put them at the frame five and duplicate the sound at the frame 10. You can use other sound effect too. It's depend on your project and your taste. And that's it. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe the channel, and hit bell for new tutorial. And as always, stay creative.